don't believe in 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 killing people who will leave Islam. I don't believe that gay people need to be exterminated from this world. I don't believe that transsexuals don't have rights. You know, I'm a Muslim. I see myself as a leftist Muslim. I don't see myself as a fundamentalist or a terrorist. You're talking to a real fucking ass woman and you think that I'm just going to sit down being a submissive little bitch and listen to you guys and not react to your fucking hatred to your bigot statements, making personal uh, allegations, accusations of me that I'm a terrorist. And it took a fucking atheist, and it took a fucking atheist to give me this platform to talk back. Because I have fucking more surprises on my sleeve. They don't want me to talk about things that are going on on Hangouts. They want me just to shut the fuck up and just let it pass. Don't talk about the shit they do, but talk about the shit I do, right? Like the double standard, like the hypocrisy. You know, every single time a Muslim does something, they come to me. They want an answer from me. Because I'm a Muslim, I suppose... I supposed to know what's fucking happening in the world. So when it's like the anniversary of 9-11, oh, let's go talk shit to see ya. When some terrorist does an attack in New York, like the latest uh, attack happened, let's talk shit to see ya. Oh, the Prophet Muhammad fucked a nine-year-old. Oh, let's talk to see ya. Let's see what see ya thinks about that. Like, I'm this some kind of mascot from Islam, and I have this fuck. I like to troll. That's correct. I like to troll the fuckers who are trolling me with posting dead Muslim children on the daily, who are posting attacks on Muslims on the daily, how they brag about how many Muslims are killed every day, and how we immigrants are this trash fucking people that come into their countries and take over their jobs, and we're taking over their fucking culture, and they expect me to just sit there and just take it all in like a little submissive bitch, okay? This is what's happening in to hang out. I'm just trying to expose these fuckers. It has gone so bad that not one of them, not one of them have the common decency to talk with me on a personal level, on a level-headed way that we can come to a solution. No, they don't talk to me for a solution. They talk to me for an emotional reaction. They want to pinpoint to me how bad of a Muslim I am and how I need to leave my religion. So this bitch, okay, is trying to dox me. Well, she's had this mob of people that are coming after me now to try to uh, silence me. But this bitch who only talks on text, the Canadian fucking hooker, the fat bitch who's ugly as fuck. And you guys can trust me that she's a fucking ugly bitch inside a fucking out. There's no redeeming quality about this bitch, okay? She thinks that she could come on to hangouts and talk shit to me. Well, I'm a regular on fucking hangouts. I know these people more than she knows these people. She settled for a disgusting fucking idiot. A filthy slut of a man from Australia, and she thinks she's the shit. How sad, how fucking idiotic is that? And I, I'm supposed to not say hi to people anymore because God forbid that I would come to, that I come near to a guy from Australia, God forbid. And you know, as a daughter of a fucking immigrant, Okay, because this bitch said, oh, don't talk shit about the immigrants because I need them for my petty tasks. Oh, you fat bitch. You cannot clean your own home. Is that it? You fat fucking bitch. You don't want to break your nails. You want the immigrants to wipe your ass for you, bitch. Huh? I'm pretty sure that the Australian authorities would love would love to speak to filthy bitches like you and i'm pretty sure that they don't want they that they don't allow pigs like you in their countries i'm pretty sure because that fucking country was built on immigrants for your for your information because you seem like a retarded ass bitch you keep lying to other people that you have this bachelor degree in education bitch you have no education you're a fucking she male from a place in canada where it's known for fucking she still to reside in, okay? There's no redeeming quality about you, bitch. And you lying to yourself that you're beautiful. Sorry, honey, 
I have to break it to you. You're not beautiful, not inside and not outside. And you can go to hang out pretending that you didn't do shit, that these people here who you call your friends, I know them. They're fake as fuck. They're just doing this to you. They're just trying to support you because I'm the realest bitch on Hangout and they can do shit to me. So you guys can go and try to hack everything, hack my accounts, hack my emails, hack my Facebook, hack my whatever the fuck you are trying to find. It's not going to work, you know, because I'm fucking smart. Okay, bitch, I'm fucking smart. I'm not the dumb bitch like you who keeps going around hangout, spreading all your poison to people and pretending like this you're this missed little innocent while you have the mouth of a fucking sailor, the heart of the fucking devil, bitch. That's what you are, okay? And all these motherfuckers, all of you, all of you who are mad that I'm friends with an atheist, that I'm in his calls, that I'm on his panel, Deal fucking it, okay? Deal with it. Because I'm not going because I'm not going nowhere. You, the Canadian hooker, the Australian gigolo who lies about me, who keeps talking shit about me, how I'm an alcoholic, pill-popping Muslim, and whatever the fuck he's lying about me. Guess what? I'm not going nowhere. I'm here to expose you ugly-ass motherfuckers, and I will do it every single day and you can say oh well this is hangouts this is not real life no motherfuckers this is real life and i'm going to be very very happy to see your response like this because i'm nuclear bitch i'm fucking nuclear and this is just words this is just words and you piece of shit coward ass bitch from canada who doesn't have the balls to fucking come to come to me on the fucking calls to speak with me about issues you don't do shit. You cannot do shit to me, bitch. Okay? I just want that to get that through your thick-ass face. Thick-ass skull. That you have no power, bitch. You have no power. So even if you go to the New York little boss you have, and she knows who I mean, there's no shit that you can do. So come for me. I hope you do. I hope there's going to be a response. Okay? I have four fucking languages which English is my third language. And, you know, I'm trying to do my best to articulate my fucking uh, what's happening on Hangouts. And I'm pretty sure good at it. I know that I'm good at it. But I, all I'm saying is I'm just here for it. Okay, I'm here for it. I want to see a response. I want you to come and show me what kind of real bitch ass you are. Okay, is, is, isn't that what you said? You called me out like a real bitch you were? Well, show it. Show the real bitch you are and bring your gigolo with you. Bring your Australian gigolo with you, and we'll see what's going to happen. I hope that I was very clear about my stance. And, um, and the other two idiots, the Frogo one and the Gook, she knows who I'm talking about. Your time is coming soon as well. I promise you. I fucking promise you. That's my end of my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Sydney. Mm -hmm.